So this here's a video on how to paint some Alpha Legion Terminators. Now we've got the old kits, but there's not a big difference between the old ones and the new ones. They're both on 40 millimeter bases and they're roughly about the same size. New ones are a little tiny bit bigger. New ones also have uh, loincloths, whereas the old ones only had it on the uh, HQ. Uh, aside from that, uh, they're pretty much the same. Painting style is going to be the same, so if you like the way these look, please feel this free to stay tuned and you will uh, see the color schemes used, which paints we used, and how we ended up getting what they look like here. Uh, if you like, leave a comment on the channel, leave a like or subscribe, and uh, if you want to see some other angles back of the back of the models or the sides or anything zoomed in, there's going to be a bunch of photos at the end, so you can always skip ahead to there just to see what it looks like. Aside from that, uh, stay tuned, and we'll show you how we uh, painted these guys up. So this video is going to be painting up a set of Chaos Terminators. Uh, we've got them all set up with uh, bolters, combi bolters, as well as the power axe, uh, or chain axe, depending on what you want to call it. Depending on what the situation is, we'll use it as either. We've got five of them to do up, but we'll uh, we'll keep track of probably this one and maybe one of the other. They're all pretty much the same. Um, so what we did at the beginning is we primed it with Chaos Black Spray. And that got us to the base coat where we are now. So we're gonna get ready for a second color. So the first thing we're gonna do with our Terminator is we're gonna put a base coat down. What we're gonna do first is we're just gonna take our lead belcher. And we're just going to put a nice base coat on. We're gonna cover the entire model. It's a watered down layer, so it may require two coats. We'll see how it, the final product turns out. But we're just going to paint up the entire model. So with our Terminators, now that we're finished with our lead belcher, all we're going to do is add a dry brush of Rune Fang Steel just to brighten it right up. Rune Fang Steel is very silver. So as you can see, that dry brush definitely added a brighter shine than, say, the darker right shoulder pad on this side. So we're going to do pretty much the entire model with Runefang Steel, just as a dry brush, creating that two-tone effect. And then the shade will come with the contrast paint we're going to use after this. So now that we're finished with our Runefang Steel, what we're going to do now is start to add the armor color. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to take uh, Pterodon Turquoise this time, just to see what it looks like. Where we've always used the Akelin Green for our term, uh, for our Alpha Legion. But we're going to try this just to uh, just to see how it looks. Now this is a contrast paint, so what we're going to do is put it on with one coat, and then we're just not going to touch it. As you can see here, we're just going to spread it on the armor, just like so, moving it around like that, doing all of our armor all over, letting it run into all of the grooves. And we'll see what the final product looks like once it's dry. But as you can see, we're just basically one single coat all over everything that we did as metal that we're going to use as armor. So here's our Terminator. And as you can see, we've got a nice uniform color with some depth to it on all of our armor. So now what we're going to do is move on to this uh, tabard here. And there'll be some on the newer Terminator models. Uh, I think each one has a tabard, but in this case here, we just have the one. So we're going to paint that in a series. We want to put it a shade of gray. So we're going to take a couple of different colors and just sort of build it up. First color we're going to use is Mechanica Standard Gray. We're going to go back to that base color we had to begin with and then slowly start building that up. So now that our Mechanica Standard Gray is back to normal and it's dry, we're going to add a shade to that. And with that, we're going to put a little Coelia green shade, which is going to add a little bit of a green tinge to it. And same thing on the back side. Just like so. So now that our green shade is dry, we're going to put a, a highlight layer over that. We're going to take a little bit of Dawnstone. And with a dry brush, we 
We're just going to lightly brush right over that cloak. without hitting our green armor, if it can be helped. Something like that. But now that our John Stone is finished, we're gonna take a little bit of Administratum Gray, and we're just gonna dry brush that right over the Dawn Stone here. Um, so we'll do that right now, and we'll just brighten that up one little more step. Now that all the tabards are done, we're going to move on to another part of the model. And I just switched them up because this one's a little easier to see. But we're going to do all of the trim now. So all these belt buckles, these trims here, the edges of the uh, shin pads, as well as all of the shoulder pads. We're going to do all those with some Stormhose Silver. And then we may even touch on some of these chains with some of that lead belcher we used earlier, uh, or we may hit it with silver. It's completely up to you what you like. If you want two different shades of metal, you can do that. If you just want to make it nice and bright and shiny, then Stormhose Silver the whole thing. All right, so we'll do that now. We'll meet back here in a moment. So here's our Terminator now that we finished with all of the silver trim. And as you can see, we've done the entire model, all the uh, connectors in the back, and then we did iron breaker on all of the power cabling that we could find. So with that finished, we'll move on to our next color. So for our next color, we're going to start working on these skulls. So there's some down here as well as a couple up in the um, standards on the back. So we're going to do all of those with a base of Rackarth flesh. And it'll just be a, um, just a nice light brush right over those skulls. So we'll do those there as well as on the other models. Um, you know, most of them are on the back. There are a few of them always dangling from chains and things like that. On the newer models, I think they're uh, tucked within the tabards. In any case, the, wherever there are skulls, we will start with Rackarth Flesh. So now that we're finished with our Rackarth Flesh, you can see that we did the skulls located on the uh, trophy racks as well as any of the bands or tape or um, handles of any of the axes that um, the Terminators tend to be holding. We did uh, all five models. So after we've finished with that, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of dryad bark and we're just gonna do the pillars here of the trophy racks themselves. Just like so. Pretty much like that. So we'll do all of those and we'll meet back here in a few more minutes. So our next color for our Terminators are gonna be uh, Abaddon Black. And what we're gonna do with that is pretty much all of the bolters, the combi bolters they're holding. We're just gonna do the main part of the weapon on it with it. Now we could do it in red um, which is a classic sort of bolter look but I'd much prefer to do it in black and have it a little bit more intimidating looking because chaos is fun. So we're moving toward our next shade. Uh, the only thing is we're going to clean up a couple of pieces of this model. Now we're going to use lead belcher and you may have used it already to do some of the chains and things like that. If not this is a good chance to do it. We're also going to use it on the uh, gore teeth here and some of the trim on the blades as well as cleaning up uh, any place on the guns where the blue contrast paint went over it because uh, we, we were allowed to be a little bit messy there. We'll clean up this cord as well as cabling and uh, mostly just clean up the spikes and stuff just to uh, tidy up the model before we come through with our shade. So we'll do that now. So now that we're finished touching up all the metallics, what we're going to do now is add a shade to both the silver as well as the uh, lead belcher. We're going to put a watered down version on the uh, silver just because we want to light up sort of the trim and the corners and things like that. But we don't want to overwhelm the shine. And then uh, a full amount on the, the details on the lead belcher because that's our guns and things like that. 
And we're going to do all of that with Newell so with our very, very watered down shade. We're just going to put some of it here. And you see how runny that is. We're definitely not going to affect the shine as that dries. We do want a little bit in the corners just to get those details there. Same thing on the tusks here. And then on the other shoulder pad and the skull. So just like that, and then we're going to use the full strength, um, full concentrated shade on all of the lead belcher, which is all over the guns and all any chains that happen to be on the model. So we'll do that now. We'll be back here once it's all finished. So now that the new oil has dried, what we're going to do next is add a shade to all of the little skulls and things. So with that, we're going to use some Seraphim sepia. We're going to get any skulls up on the trophy rack, as well as anything dangling from chains. Uh, so there's a few of them around each of the models here. One there, there. So we'll get all of those with the sep uh, Seraphim While sepia at it. We're also going to get any of the wrappings that are here on the blade weapons. Anything that we did earlier with rack our flesh, as well as these skulls. So now that the Seraphim sepia is dried, um, what we're going to do next is just add a highlight to the skulls and the wrappings. We're going to use Screaming Skull, which is a nice off-white color. And we're going to dry brush that right on. So we're not looking to water it down very much. Just a nice dry brush like that. That's pretty much all we need to do. And there you can see the two colors, the skull and the wrappings. And you can see the difference the Screaming Skull makes. So we'll do all of those and we'll be back here in a moment. So that's the end of our Screaming Skull. All the skulls are now done. And we're ready to move on to our next color. And our next color is actually going to be some Retributor Armor, and all we're doing is trying to add a little bit more color to the model. Um, so all of these things like these little rings and these little hooks, we're just going to do them with a little bit of Retributor Armor just to add just a little bit of variety to our model because there's so much silver and uh, blue on it. So something like that, we'll do the hook as well. You can also do these things in brass if you want, or just something different, uh, more aesthetics than anything else. So now we've got our little trinkets done with Retributor Armor. And what we're going to move on to now is the rest of the metallics. We're going to add a dry brush highlight layer over the top of those of Iron Breaker, which is an excellent um, layer color to use over the top of Lead Belcher. And we're just going to dry brush that right over there and just lighten that back up again. So do you see the difference there? versus the stand where it mounts much much brighter here than there so we'll do the rest of the axes and 
uh, guns. Okay, much brighter now. So our models are coming on nicely now. One of the things we're going to do here are these bags that are up on the top. We're just going to dry brush them. We've already base coated them in brown. We're going to dry brush them in like a Gorther brown or one of these things here. That's a little bit lighter just to create a two-tone effect. Just get a little bit in your brush. Make sure it's not too, too much. And then just a quick dry brush. Just like that. All that's needed there. So we'll do the rest of those. We'll be back here in a few more minutes. So the next thing we're going to do are some of these tassels that are hanging from the trophy rack. Um, on the new Terminators, you could also use this color scheme for the loincloths. But in any case, what we're going to do is take a base coat of Cavalite Green. But any dark green will work. And we're just going green because we want a little bit more color on these models. But you can go red if you want or purple. Uh, really up to it. Up to you. I just want to add a bit more green. Um, just to bring out the, the color of the armor as well. The next thing we're going to do once the tassels have dried is add a little coilier green shade. Um, camo shade will also work. Just something, a, a shade along the lines of whatever the base color you went with. In this case, green. So one of the, one of the green shades will do. That's just to fill in some of the holes. So when we add our highlight, it still looks like there's some depth there. So we'll finish that and be back in a moment. So once our green shade is dry, what we're going to do is add one more dry brush of moot green and while we're at that we're also going to do all of these eyes as well just to um, add that little bit of color there so what we'll do we've got a few there one on the axe here one on the shoulder blade and a few around and then we're going to dry brush the tassel as well when it's dry so we'll do all that with our moot green we'll be back in a moment so now that the tassels are finished we're going to go back to the Corellia green shade and we're going to shade in each of the little eyes we had did there earlier. Take a little bit of that. Just like that there. We'll do the same with all of the eyes. So now that the eyes have uh, dried, we're going to go back to the Avid on Black. the best little detail brush I can find. I'm just going to add a pupil. To those eyes. So one of our last steps is going to be to take a little bit of Mephiston Red. And with that same little tiny bit of detail We're 
just going to touch out the eyes. Just like that. So I'll finish the rest of them and be back in a moment. So with that, our Terminator is pretty much finished. We're going to uh, just clean up the base a bit and then clear coat them. Then we'll probably put a little bit of Arg coat on the eyes just to have them shiny and look like jewels. And then that's pretty much it for this model. And we'll be back here once it's all finished. So this here is the finished Terminator models, and as you can see, they turned out pretty nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how the blue looked, and then the edge highlights on it looked really nice as well. Um, if yours look as good as this, uh, please leave a like or a comment in the channel, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you uh, want to pay attention to other videos that we're going to make. This is two other models that we had here. Uh, but as we were saying, if you uh, like these models and you think they look good, Please feel free to leave a like or a comment on the channel. Uh, subscribe, that always helps. And otherwise than that, we'll see you at our next uh, painting video. Stay tuned uh, for a couple of clip arts, just right quick. Uh, if you want to see some other angles or some other views of these guys, we'll put a bunch of different photos at the end of the stream. Uh, aside from that, we will see you the next time, and thank you for watching.